first graders, welcome back. So for this rotation, we're going to learn how to draw a squirrel. Now you can see there's two different styles you can draw. You can draw this first one where it's looking sideways. And to draw this one, you would draw kind of an oval shape, but this side's like a regular oval, but this side kind of comes together at a point. So it's pointy on one side. And then you'll do the ear. So this is a curve, curve, and a little bit of hair up here. And then the body and the big tail. Now this one, you'll do a whole oval, the ear sticking up, and an oval shape for the body and the tail. So you can do either one. So I'm gonna show you how to draw them. So let's start with this first one, this pink one. And of course you can color yours any color you would like. So on this side, I'm gonna draw my squirrel. Can you see? Yes, all right. So I'm gonna draw basically that kind of shape. It's almost like a sideways teardrop. And then draw your eye any style you would like. It could be looking forward, it can be looking up, however you would like. I think I'm gonna have mine looking forward. A tiny little nose. And a curve right here to make his little cheeks, a little mouth. And then, like I said, you want to give him some hair and his ear. Then, for the body, I'm going to come down here, make his little hand, and back here. Back. And then his other arm, probably about here. And then I'm going to do this extra curve in his foot. And two little toes. And then one more. Then if you want, you can put something in its hand. That's completely up to you. And now for the tail. So, back here, I'm going to start coming up, up, and then back here, I'm going to make this big curve, and then notice this spiral, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller, like that. There we go. Now, this one, we're going to do it completely different. So this one, we're going to start with the sideways oval. And then the squirrel's ears, little nose right in the middle, a mouth if you want. You can do teeth coming out, but that's completely up to you. Then, like always, our eyes, any style you would like. Then for the body, we're going to come down, come down, and then his little hands right here. And then the inside of the body, same thing on this side. Then this extra curve for the leg, come across, draw his tiny little feet, and now his big tail up here, so I just do this big curve, and then the top part of his tail, and come in, kind of like that.
and there we go. So, whichever squirrel size you would like, go ahead and draw. So, once you're done drawing, color it in, any color you would like. Then have somebody please take a picture and send it through Schoology. I can't wait to see what your squirrels look like when you're done. So, hope you enjoy this. Have a great week, and thanks for watching.